from the Kaoka Fault Plateau in Namibia. Now here we have uh, that has been sawed. There's actually a saw mark there. That has been sawn, been sawn on the base as well. But what we have here is a solid quartz, very typical to this locality. And sitting on this quartz, we have tiny uh, sprays of shuttercart needles. And in this case, we have the green you see here and here would be some malachite. Point of display, well, we could display it this way around. The thing about the the uh, uh, specimens from the Kaoka felt uh, to trim the quartz is what uh, to to trim these specimens. What happens? The 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 quartz fractures as it pleases, so you can't determine the fracture zone. This is why these guys are so often sawed because you 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 cannot. It's actually very difficult to trim them, even with a with a rock crusher. Uh, quartz doesn't have a definite. A fracture zone or a, a big bulky uh, section of quartz and these are predominantly solid quartzes all from the Kaoka Felt Plateau in Namibia, Malachite, Shatukite and Quartz